Open RAN is without a doubt one of the hottest telecom technology topics right now, but what's all the fuss about? And how are telecom ecosystem players reacting to the opportunities and challenges of Open RAN developments? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Honoré Labordet, Vice President, Vertical Industries, TME, at Red Hat, and B.G. Kumar, President of the Communication Services Business Group at Mavenir. Great to have you both here today. And so, Honoré, if you could start first, uh, why is Open RAN now such a big deal in the mobile networking sector, and what are the challenges and opportunities associated with Open RAN? So why Open RAN is uh, so key to what we're doing in the telecommunications industry is because it's a critical component to taking advantage of all of the benefits of 5G and future generations of mobile technology and cellular technology. So we've spent a lot of time uh, talking about the 5G core, and now we're, we're extending those capabilities out to the edge and the far edge. And in order to realize all of the benefits of that, we really do need to think about how do we once again move from rigid hardware implementations of the RAN to an open RAN implementation of that technology. We think of open RAN in three pillars. First, virtualization. This is the disaggregation of the base station software from the hardware that leads to open interfaces. Second is disaggregation of the workload in the platform that leads to cloudification. And then finally, there's the automation for deployment and lifecycle management of end-to-end -end solutions. There are some challenges associated with this technology, and a key challenge is connected with the size of the RAN as its virtualization will be complex and potentially more challenging than other network domains. Um, this is really where the opportunity presents itself, first to overcome some of those challenges with these newer technologies to overcome challenges presents new opportunities. And one is that open cloud platforms allow us to bring different applications together in new ways uh, and leverage Open RAN for that. Bringing these different applications together in new ways is key to the partnership with Mavenir, which is, of course, one of the reasons why BG and I are here today. And the work that Red Hat is doing collaboratively with Mavenir uh, to you know, bring those differentiated value-based applications together in new ways, uh, leveraging Open RAN technology. And BG, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so uh, similar to what uh, Honore just said, right? The Open RAN architecture is a virtualized, disaggregated network ar architecture with open interfaces, which allows multi-vendor solutions avoiding vendor lock-in and lower TCO. If you look at the operator's network today, the single largest piece, the most expensive part of their operator's network is the access network. And today, the access network is typically is not a multi-vendor solution. When you when an operator picks a, a radio a radio a, a radio and RAN vendor, it's typically the same same vendor that has to be for both pieces. What Open RAN provides is an open architecture, and you can bring in with a with a completely disaggregated network where you can bring in different uh, multi-vendor solutions, and that reduces the overall TCO. So that's the that that's the uh, benefit of open RAN. Some of the challenges in open RAN, some of the things that Honore mentioned is spot on. Uh, one additional thing I would like to highlight here is in open RAN, the open open RAN radios that meet the requirements for carriers globally, that ecosystem is still very in the is very much in the early stages. So one of the biggest challenges we have is as we go and serve operators worldwide, can we get the radio ecosystem for uh, open RAN compliant radio ecosystem? Up to the up to the needs where the operators uh, for the various frequency bands that the operators require. So those that's the big that's the one big challenge that we need to overcome as a as an industry. And based on those observations, I wonder to what extent has five G been a catalyst for your joint development? BG, let's start with you. Yeah. So five G uh, has really helped. If you look at five G is the first generation of open disaggregated networks that can run on any cloud. Red Hat and Mavenir were quite complementary here as Red Hat provided the open cloud platform that can run Mavenir cloud native applications, supporting both private clouds, uh, uh, public clouds, and hybrid clouds. So before 5G, if you look at the network architectures, were very much homogeneous network architectures. And the first time, uh, 
disaggregated network architectures became uh, has become a standard is with 5G. So 5G is very key. Open RAN is uh, is a disaggregated network architecture. So is the packet core is completely disaggregated with 5G. So Red Hat and Mavenir re- really provides an opportunity for Red Hat and Mavenir to uh, work together and provide uh, solutions, cloud native solutions on a platform that can run on public, private, or hybrid clouds. And Honore, what are your views? Well, Mavenir and Red, have been, and Red Hat have been partners for a very long time, but I would say that now 5G is driving everything that we're doing together. There is complexity across all industries when it comes to 5G, not just telco. We see it in manufacturing. We see it in financial services um, and private 5G. But we also think that it's limitless where we can go together. Red Hat and Mavenir with our joint offerings, which are primarily focused on telco today, but have the potential to be game changers for any enterprise that requires 5G internally. So I would say 5G has driven everything that we're working on with Mavenir today. And um, very, very excited about the outcome of some of that development. So what role does the broader ecosystem play in supporting customer success in open VRAN adoption, Honore? The ecosystem is critically important to customer success with open RAN adoption. And Red Hat is working consistently with customers and partners to offer one of the strongest open RAN ecosystems available today um, by enhancing Red Hat OpenShift with the features required to build and deliver a modern open RAN uh, deployment. The cost disruptive nature of Open RAN, which BG referred to earlier uh, in our discussion around the ROI TCO, um, is just, it, it, it's so incredibly compelling that it allows operators to deploy networks in areas of low subscribership. It also allows them to deploy new services where those services may not have been available not just um, geographically, but may not have been available from a value proposition uh, perspective. And now they can do that in a very cost effective way. Um, The the operators are also looking to augment frequency bands in areas where they need coverage and presence. Um, And so the operators simply won't remove their entire infrastructure overnight and replace it with open RAN, but we are seeing an accelerated pace at which these operators are are starting to deploy open RAN um, in greenfield uh, applications and greenfield use cases, but also in brownfield uh, use cases. And that's, again, I point back to the importance of the partnership that we have with Mavenir. It's because we're developing together. We're, we don't just come together as a partnership and certify and validate. We're actually building together. We're developing together um, from ideation all the way to deployment and to scale. And, uh, you know, this really uh, points to the importance of this open ecosystem, uh, not just between Red Hat and Mavenir, but between Red Hat and Mavenir and potentially a hardware platform, you know, provider, um, where we triangulate that ecosystem to ensure that we have solutions that we can help our take, telco customers take to market very quickly. And BG, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so just to build on what uh, Honore said, right? Um, What Mavenir and Red Hat is doing is really creating a a platform, an environment where we can actually foster a a disaggregated network uh, uh, deployment uh, space. So in addition to not just the platforms or not not just to the applications that Mavenir is building, the ecosystem is responsible for bringing new vendors like the radio vendors or the chipsets, the chipset providers, they all have to play a very critical role for this ecosystem to be successful. So all the vendors, including the chips, uh, the radio vendors, the chipset vendors, uh, platform, uh, open platform vendors, which is key for the solution like Red Hat, Mavenir with our cloud native applications, along with SI vendors like IBM is very, very critical for this overall solution to be very successful. And what this does is it opens up new verticals, just like uh, like enterprise space. It is not just limited to the carrier space. You can actually take this open RAN uh, solution even to the enterprise space, uh, especially in the context of uh, private networks. One of the other big buzzwords is automation. And I wonder in what way is automation impacting 5G and open RAN deployments? BG, we'll begin with you. 
So if you talk about automation, right, on Bavineer and Red Hat, uh, we started the automation effort when we actually, during the 4G world, right, when we were on OpenStack. But what 5G has done and what OpenRAN uh, allows you is to allows operators to use the same automation tools that they have used for other parts of the network, also for the, also for the access network. So things like CI, CD, DevOps, configuration man- management, and other, uh, and other automation tools that used to be applied in the core network now can also be used for the radio access network as well, further driving, further driving down OPEX. This also allows applications to run natively in the public clouds and also use native automation tools provided by the hyperscalers. So it's, so it's this whole ecosystem has to be, uh, automation is very, very key for this whole ecosystem to be successful and to drive down uh, TCO. Honore, what is your impression of the impact of automation? Well, first, automation is a have to have, right? I think to uh, to BG's point, um, it's uh, critical to scale out an infrastructure that delivers an abstracted presentation of the applications. Um, the ability to manage and, authentic- and authenticate all of the devices remotely is key to moving from an appliance-based model to a cloudified model with the RAN. So automation isn't only a requirement, I would describe it as it's the superpower that will allow operators to quickly monetize these new services on top of 5G, given the incredible improvements on latency and throughput. It is in automation, um, uh, along with the RAN functional disaggregation and the use of open interfaces that will ultimately drive the wide adoption of open RAN. And uh, again, to BG's point, we have been working very closely together to deploy, remotely manage, monitor, and provision automated environments so that these uh, open RAN deployments are successful for our operators. So Honore, how can both companies bring innovation to this space to address some of the key opportunities that are out there? Red Hat and Mavenir are both leaders in our respective industries. And so we're working on ways together that where we'll most closely uh, be able to tighten and strengthen our alliance as partners, but also how do we bring more joint solutions um, into the marketplace today. Our partnership extends beyond just the technology. Um, You know, as I had mentioned, we're, we're building and developing together. We're bringing our respective areas of expertise um, together from a technology, but also from a go-to-market. You know, it's important. I call it the last mile of execution. Um, Red Hat works very closely with Mavenir. Once we are past the get-to-market stage into the go-to-market stage, where we're working together at the customer site in that last mile of execution to ensure successful pilots and successful deployments and ultimately the ability for the operators to be able to scale. As leaders in our respective industries, our partnership provides validated and certified solutions that can migrate from the latest uh, uh, technologies uh, from the labs to production, and then accelerating the operator's time to market. And again, just to reiterate, we don't stop once we leave the lab. We work together all the way through that last mile of execution to ensure um, the operator's success. And the final thought goes to you, BG. Yeah, so to build on what just Honore said, Mavenir and Red Hat are both leaders in our space. Where we can really influence the industry is first, build cloud native, uh, cloud native applications with the right level of automation so that it makes it very easy for the operators to deploy our solution. That's key because without a faster, um, a lower OPEX and faster uh, rollouts, this is not a, uh, the disaggregated networks really becomes a complexity. So automation is very, very key to simplifying the rollout of a disaggregated network. The second piece is once you have rolled out a disaggregated network, the next big challenge is how do you support it? How do you, how do you maintain it? There are in a disaggregated network, troubleshooting, uh, uh, using data and using AI to help you know, predict and to narrow down where problems may occur in the network is very, very key. So in this space, again, Mavenir and Red Hat can work together. We generate a lot of data, so does Red Hat. Now we are together, we are working on tools that we can absorb all that data and help operators 
isolate fault uh, problems in their network much faster. This is even a bigger, that's always a challenge in any operator's network today. But when you have disaggregated networks with a lot more components, that problem gets amplified. So automation along with AI and problem resolu- problem identification and, and followed up with problem resolution is very, very key for the success of disaggregated 5G networks and open RAN networks. And of course, this you take that, what I just told you, and it, it amplifies a lot more when you take the solution and you run it on hybrid clouds, where part of the solution is running in, in a public cloud, part of the solution is running in the operator's network. How do you, how does an operator manage and coordinate among all this? So, so I think it's very, very key in addition to automation that we also focus on the, on the autom- on the, on using artificial intelligence in, in problem identification and problem resolution. Well, great insights and very interesting news of your collaboration. Honoré, BG, thank you for joining us today.